Hello everybody, this is Holly. Hello everybody, this is Hollywood Joe with another style and profile video from Hollywood's World of Sports. And I got a DVD review for you today. And it is WWE's digitally remastered version of No Holds Barred. As most of you know, No Holds Barred was made in the late 80s. It was Hulk Hogan's first ever movie. And in this movie, he uh, he portrays uh, the WWF champion. Actually, I should say, to be politically correct, the World Wrestling Federation champion. And uh, in this movie, his rival, the guy that challenges him, is Zeus, who was played by uh, uh, Tiny Lister, Tommy Tiny Lister Jr. And, uh, you know, when, when WWE first released this movie again, um, you know, they had a video of current superstars mocking the movie. And I gotta tell you, the movie isn't that bad. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a classic, I'm not gonna say it's one of the greatest movies ever, but for what it was at the time, it, uh, it was actually a pretty decent movie. Um, I had some really good actors in it, and I'm not talking about Hulk Hogan. Uh, you know, I'm talking about like Joan Severance and um, people like that. And, you know, I, I kind of like how the aftermath of this movie led to Zeus the character uh, becoming a character on WWF, World Wrestling Federation Television. And uh, at the time, Zeus was teaming with the Macho Man. And um, Hogan was teaming with Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Now I gotta tell you, I really think this movie uh, kind of made like how do I say? Kind of made Hulk Hogan more human, if you know what I mean. Because Hogan showed a um, very, very wide range of emotions in this movie, um, and I think. Uh, I think, that, I think that was good to show Hogan's humanistic qualities about him. Um, if you're a Hulk Hogan fan, obviously buy this movie. It's, it's, it's Hulk Hogan. Uh, if you're not a Hulk Hogan fan, uh, you might not like it. But I think it was, I, it was entertaining. I will say that much. It was very... Very, very entertaining. Uh, there's a couple wrestlers that appear in it. Um, Bill Eady, who most people know as uh, Demolition Axe. Uh, Stan Hansen is in the movie as well. Uh, Mad Dog Vashon was in the movie. So uh, it does feature a few other wrestlers. Um, would I say this is the greatest performance that a wrestler has done in the movie no um i think uh i think there's other movies out there that wrestlers have been in that have been better i think uh you know roddy piper's movies were certainly very good in quality i think terry funk's uh role in the movie roadhouse was really good uh obviously the rock um had some great has had some great movies come out but, you know, if, you, if you're a wrestling fan of the 80s and you're a Hulk Hogan fan, you got to have this movie. Um, because, like I said, it's a huge part of what Hulk Hogan was doing and Hulkamania. And it was actually the first Hogan movie uh, that he ever did. Obviously, he did a few more, like um, Mr. Nanny, Suburban Commando. He filmed Thunder in Paradise. Uh, assault on Devil's Island, Assault on Devil's Mountain, um, you know, just stuff like that. And, you know, this is actually the very first WWE produced movie. So, in a way, this kind of set the groundwork for the whole WWE Studios thing that we see today. But obviously, I believe, I think some of the um, WWE movies produced today are obviously a lot better. Um, in terms of a movie, movie, uh, than No Holds Barred. But like I said, uh, No Holds Barred was 
what was a, it was intended to be. I really think it was meant to create a wrestling angle and, you know, shed, it should shed Hulk Hogan into a different light and show his human side to him more. Um, so, you know, like I said again, if you're a Hulk Hogan fan and you're a wrestling fan of the late 80s, good movie to pick up. Very fun to watch. And uh, I would, uh, I'd, I'd watch it. You know, it's it's it, you'll you'll see a different side of Hogan that you didn't really see back then. So, um, with that being said, make sure you get the uh, No Holds Bar movie and don't forget to rip them, brother, rip them. That's all from me today from Hollywood's World of Sports, where controversy doesn't come without criticism. <laughs>